team, one of the most enjoyable fish off the grill for me is salmon. So I wanna share with you a couple tidbits from my kitchen to yours. Let's get in the action. First on the list, don't be afraid of frozen salmon. If it's raised properly, uh, you've got such great fat content that it is not gonna lose quality through the freezing and thawing process. Uh, second bit, don't take the skin off. Don't be afraid to leave that skin on there, okay? Even if you're gonna take it off for, uh, before you eat it, it's a nice way to grill and feel safe about rolling it around, but I do suggest eating it. There's a lot of nutritional content in there. Uh, third thing, let's make sure and season our salmon. Don't be afraid to go with a heavy hand and get some salt and pepper, whatever you like on there, okay? Salmon does a great job of soaking that up and really that salt's just gonna amplify that flavor. Uh, third, uh, sorry, fourth thing I like to mention is don't be afraid of high heat. A lot of us are looking for reasons to get these grills up or saute pans up to 600 plus degrees. This is the perfect opportunity, which leads me to the next thing I'd like to talk about. Don't be afraid to undercook your salmon. If you're using sashimi grade fish, it is a-okay to pull it early. So high heat, lots of seasoning, nicely sourced fish, and we're not gonna have any problems. Like I'm gonna put that one skin side down, I'll put this one flesh side down just so we can see the difference and how easy it is. But with salmon, it's almost less is more on the cooking front. Keep it simple, just get a sear, Roll it to the next side, sear, roll it to the next side. You need high heat to get that done, and the salt is just gonna amplify everything. Nice crispy skin, great caramelization. That's what I'm talking about. High heat, short amount of time. Salmon is extremely versatile. We can make tacos, we can put this in a salad, we can make a sandwich out of it. You can just eat it as an entree if you like, okay? Uh, today I'm gonna do these little itty bitty lettuce cups, butter lettuce. We'll just take a tail piece of this salmon. Look at that. That's right where we want to be. Okay. Some of that crispy skin in there as well. And I'm just going to pull it and make some bites. You know, these little interactive moments with friends and family are so much fun. And I've got options, right? Here's a little cilantro. Why not? Maybe go in with it just a touch of sauce. I don't want to lose the salmon, but a touch that of sauce. That sauce is fantastic. Yeah, Chipotle and Thousand Island. Easy peasy. Little bit, of, little bit of silly cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, don't put it on there. Let's make just a, a quick little avocado salsa with some jalapeno, onion, avocado, bit of acid, touch of salt. Oh yeah, maybe a little hot sauce. Too much sauce, too much sauce. Yeah, I know, but this is my taco. This is what I like. <laughs> That's it, fresh. Just a fun little mock taco, super quick, bold flavors. I could eat it like this all day long. Team, I hope this further reiterates delicious does not have to be difficult. That was just the easiest thing in the world. And again, I could eat like that all day long. Fresh, vibrant, delicious, nutritious. Uh, team, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do all the things. Give us a follow, hit that notification button, subscribe. And from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling. Thank you.